Hi, everybody. Welcome to Just a Few Things. I'm your host, David Rogers. This is the show where we talk about just a few of the really good things that are going on in our New Frontiers Church family. All right, it's time for some good in the world. This is where we highlight a story that happens outside of our New Frontiers Church circle. And I think I've got the best one so far. I'm going to read you the headline. Are you ready? World's loneliest elephant, Kavan, arrives in Cambodia with help from Cher. How's that for a headline? So the story here is that there's an elephant in a Pakistani zoo, and that elephant's name is Kavan. He's been the only elephant at this zoo since 2012 after his mate died, which is really sad. And on top of that, this zoo that Kavan's been living at was actually shut down by the Pakistani government in August due to its poor conditions. So not only was he the only elephant, he was also the only elephant in a very bad situation. And so he got some help from a couple animal wildlife conservation groups, one of them being Four Paws International, which is based in Vienna, and the other being Free the Wild, which is the group run by the singer Cher. Cher's been involved in getting Kavan out of this zoo since 2016, and just a few days ago, that finally came to fruition because Kavan the elephant touched down in Cambodia where he is now going to live the rest of his days in a nice little sanctuary in not only better conditions, but with other elephants. Elephants are really social creatures and he needs to be around other elephants. And now Kavan is around other elephants and it's going to be great. Maybe I'll give an update in a couple weeks uh, to see how Kavan is doing with his new buddies. But for now, Kavan, here's to you, man, elephant. Here's to you, Kavan the elephant. Let's hope that you find some real peace in your new sanctuary over in Cambodia. All right, we're on to our weekly report. And this week's weekly report, this week's, ooh, this, <laughs> so this week's weekly report is actually a report on an actual report because our very own Lisa James has been uh, recently interviewed by Seacoast Online detailing her work with The Rack, which is uh, kind of a clothing drive that we do at New Frontiers Church. So we're gonna turn it over to Lisa, kind of hitting on a couple highlights and some of the things that they had asked um, and kind of hear from Lisa about this. So Lisa, over to you. Hi, this is Lisa. Um, I am currently inside what used to be the preschool room um, in the church building. Right now it's filled with all kinds of clothing and whatnot because um, I made it look good because I had an interview today with Portsmouth newspaper and Seacoast Online. We start with the rack for um, women in recovery or women who are fleeing domestic violence. So um, we did, we're doing it basically for them in the recovery community. So um, here's hoping that the word gets out to who needs it and even to the mentors and social workers in the area so we can just open up completely. I want to thank you for the support that you've been um, in donating your clothes, clothing. Um, I really appreciate that and that's where it started, right here in the church. Fantastic. That's really, really cool. Just another way that our church is just helping out the Seco. So well done, Lisa. Uh, can't wait to see what else comes of this. All right, we're on to testimony time, and this is the part of the show, story, show, where we hear from a member of our body, and we're going to hear a testimony from Michelle. Uh, Michelle's had quite the year, uh, but through it all, she's still full of faith and full of love for Jesus, and she wrote down a couple of thoughts that she wanted to share with us. So, Michelle, let's turn it over to you so that we can hear from you. Before I was a Christian, I was racing, racing, racing. I was full of anxiety and struggling with my addiction. This year, everything fell apart and I lost almost everything I love. And then I met Jesus. I was born again. This summer, I was baptized. I felt cleansed, love, peace, hope. I was totally overwhelmed by the love of God. This was the first time I fell in love with myself. The first time I could make peace with my past. takes my breath away. <laughs> this year, the pandemic, the riots, my situation, I should be missing an action. 
possibly even dead. My Heavenly Father put his loving, healing arms around me so tight that I felt his peace. With no doubt in my mind and in my heart, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. On Thanksgiving Day, I had a very hurtful situation. As I sat and cried, I was so hurt, but not broken. I felt my father's presence as he put my mind and heart at rest. I have hope, peace, faith, and I know whatever life throws my way, I am not alone. He is always with me. Yeah. Terrific. Thank you so much for sharing that, Michelle. It's amazing to see kind of just where you're at and the faith that you have in the Lord. So, and again, I, as always, want to just highlight that if you have a testimony you'd like to share uh, or someone you know should share testimony, reach out to us at hello at newfrontierschurch.com so that we can get you on the show. Thanks. All right, it's time for Out There. This is the part of the show where we go beyond Seacoast, New Hampshire to hear what's going on out there from one of our other church families or church friends or something along those lines. And for this week, we're going to go down to Brooklyn to hear from the team down at Christ Central and see what they're up to. So what's going on, guys? Hi there, my name is Nick. Uh, this is Amy, and we are leading the team here in uh, Brooklyn with Christ Central. And I want to say thank you so much for your ongoing support over the last 12 months. There's been lots of highs, lots of lows. Uh, as this as is true for everyone, but some of the stuff that we're specifically celebrating here is that uh, over the course of 2020, we've seen two people saved, added and baptised uh, to our local church here. And um, just grateful to God as well for really solidifying many of the relationships we've got with uh, the church here as we've been able to really support and love and care for people in our community. And of course, we've really valued your ongoing support in prayer and how you continue to pray for us and our team here. Yeah. But we just want to ask specifically that you would pray for two things. Firstly, uh, there is a lot of need right now in our community. We have someone who's just recently been diagnosed with cancer. We've had a lot of people who have been affected by COVID. And there's just a general sense of um, depression and heaviness and sickness that's going around in us in our community. So we'd love for you to pray for our people. Uh, secondly, we'd love for you to pray for uh, our new year we're going to be launching an alpha course in the new year and we really want to see people added to the kingdom we want to see um, our church being equipped to be missional um, even in this time whether it's via zoom or in small local groups and in, in houses so please be praying for those two things that's it from us thanks so much uh, for like we've said over and over again for your support for your prayers we hope you have a great christmas and a very happy new year well done, guys. It's always great to hear from you. Hope you're all doing well. Stay safe. Be sure to be praying for these guys as well. They're doing some amazing stuff down in Brooklyn, and God has been all over the work that they're doing. So we want to support them. Be sure to be praying for them. Reach out to them too. Send them some love. And uh, yeah, we'll hear from them some point. Some point. All right. On behalf of everybody in the studio... I just want to say thank you so much for tuning into this week's Just a Few Things. I'm going to wrap up here. I don't have much more to say, although I could hit you with a couple elephant facts. I'm not going to, but I could. Just know that. And I do want to just encourage everyone to continue to get involved in our Advent giving, in our Advent season. We really want to make a big deal out of this season. Uh, one way we can do that is to continue to help support some of the groups that we're working with this year, like Chase Home, Lydia's House of Hope and new generation. Please get involved with that if you have not already. Um, details are online or you can check it out when you go to one of our meetings on Sunday. So thank you again for tuning in. Happy weekend and we'll see you next week. I can, I'm recording. I can be anywhere, anywhere and stop at recording. <laughs>